Right, well, tomorrow's Saturday and we're supposed to open them on Saturday, but today's Friday and I know that, but it's a very nice day. We're outside and I'm an impatient human being. So let's have a quick look. Yes, yes, look, 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 look. This one. Well, these are not easy to get into, are they? Everything about this operation has been quite tricky. Hmm. There we are. They're actually very cold to the touch. I've kept them very cold. And you can see they're starting. That one there's that one there has happened. There. You've got one there. That one there has happened. Let's have a look at the ones kept very dark. I wanted to see what would happen with those. Well, they've gone mouldy, which those didn't. So these little pots are not as successful, but... No. So what we now know is you need a lot more space because this was a quite a big jar that I used and this hasn't and I just don't think it's going to but all of those seem to have done very well and let's check this one here Well, you've definitely got movement, but they're not as fast. This one, this one probably, yeah, this one's happened. So put that there with that one. But these are not going. So what you've seen is out of those, the bigger jar did better and keeping them in the dark didn't make much difference either. So we've got enough to do what we intended to do. I'm gonna wrap them up to keep them wet and I'm going to go and prepare my little eggshells. Well, I'm quite excited about this. So what you now need are bottle tops, any bottle tops, little plastic things, because you're going to sit them in these inside here so they catch the water you can need something anything that's got a point a long nail this this I haven't got long fingers so it didn't do but something that's long enough now put your you need to get very close my love now I'll try and move it to you but I need to see as well now you need to get that point at the very very bottom and press hard so that you that's right? right, that sits on there like that. Now we fill it up with a bit of soil. And we take one of these. Now, you may not think you need hundreds of these little, little lemon trees, but the lemons themselves are only one thing. The other that is so nice is to perfume everything, drinks, teas, anything with these lovely lemon leaves. Now that sits on there. We water them in a minute. Okay, and I'm going to do all the rest. Okay. You're going to come back afterwards. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Right, well, I've planted up um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them because they were sprouting. And I think I put three seeds back in here because it wasn't quite time and they might still sprout. Okay, 
And I think I'll do the whole thing again as well because they work and why not? Now these are the little pieces of slices of tomato that we planted. We didn't plant, we just laid them on the surface and covered them in the layer. And I have in fact taken a piece from here out and you can see that's left some still to come up. And I've transplanted them into these little eggs. The thing about the egg shells, which I forgot to tell you because I'm so excited, is that you, um, you wait until you've got little plants and then you transplant the whole thing, but crack them in your hand first. That way you don't have any root disturbance and the eggshell is full of calcium. Calcium produces strong, healthy leaf which is exactly what you want for these little ones here. And of course your tomatoes at an early stage need it. And virtually anything grown in pots, or what I would call captivity, because I prefer to deal with animals, well, those things all need large amounts of calcium and feeding in their pots. And what I want to do, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to, but I'm going to try, is to find ways of using kitchen waste as fertilizers. I don't want to make potions and stinky stuff but basically over there we've got some things growing with chopped up bits of banana in the bottom. We've done things like that and we'll see what works and what doesn't. Um, this is really based on places where they can't afford to go to the garden centre and buy proper equipment and all the rest of it and they need to grow stuff that grows and they can eat and Everybody seems to say eggshells, so we're doing eggshells. And they're not difficult when you um, use a lot of egg, and I do in cooking, to make a little tiny hole by just tapping them and very carefully and then turn them upside down and gravity will actually pull your egg out of its container. I rinse them so they don't smell later and just collect them. So easy. Oh yes, sorry, forgot. This was the garlic that's growing and we've then waited for two of them uh, that have actually produced a little shoot and I've just planted those up. But I think if you look, these are starting to swell at the top. Once they burst forth, that's the time to plant them apparently, not when they're like this. So other people have done this work for you, but if you look, you can see with this one round here, it's starting to go at the top. Okay. And Paul actually demonstrates how neatly you can do a little hole in the bottom of your egg if you're not me. <laughs> okay, see you next time. Bye bye. Yes, you're a good little doggy, aren't you? Good boy. You didn't bark, you didn't do anything naughty, not like you at all.